everybody, welcome to our last Supergirl Monday for a while. Today I'm going to be reacting to Supergirl Season 3, Episode 23, titled Battles Lost and Won. And as always, if you were not with us last week, here's what you missed on Supergirl in 30 seconds. Last week on Supergirl, all hell broke loose as the frustration of everybody repressing their sexualities exploded all at once. I'm just kidding, but am I? Kara and Monel managed to get back to Earth from Argo using a teleportal. The Daughters of the Night are doing witchy business, inspired by the climax of the Goblet of Fire. Turns out they need the blood of both pestilence and purity to give Rain a new body. Meanwhile, Space Grandpa breaks the news that his time is up, and we all unanimously shouted, it sure as hell is not. The Daughters invade the DEO, and Alex's gun finally subdues somebody. Just kidding, it fails again. Sam is getting weaker as Rain gets stronger, but fortunately there's a magic fountain in the Dark Valley that can save her. Lena electrocutes Sam back into the Dark Valley to search for the fountain as an earthquake breaks loose. And that's what you missed on Supergirl. Okay, so we're finally at the season finale of Supergirl, episode 23. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I think that episode 22 left us off with some pretty good cliffhangers. Um, I'm pretty excited for this episode, and mostly I'm just excited for it to set the stage for season four. So I'm not gonna go on rambling, I think I'm gonna save whatever time I want to talk about the episode for after. So right now, we're just gonna jump into this episode. The fountains of love. One fountain The random fountain that can just conveniently exists. Anyone who knows about Supergirl canon, can you tell me if that's a real thing or did they just make it up? Fountains of Lilith. If it's a real thing, then I'll allow it. But if it's not... Oh my god. Wow. I stan a queen. She's so excited. Oh god. Please don't let anything happen to her mom. Good job, Superman. Is he here? Oh, that's Monel. Oh, the first inhabitant of Mars was a woman, that's all I have to say. We stand in Eve. Wow, she definitely knows who James Olsen is. Like, he's famous. She, wow, like, not even special, He's, he had just unmasked for some nobody. I hope they start dating or something. Oh my god, Queen Emma is back! Thank you. Thank you for bringing her back to us. Look at her, so powerful. Brainy! <laughs> You haven't seen Star Wars, not a single Star War. <laughs> Whoa, I love Kara. The gang's all here. I'm really glad they brought Brainy and Emra back. Brainy for season four. And Emra for season four, honestly, if I'm being completely honest. I would love to see Emra in season four. That's all. Good on him for doing this for people not even his kind. He doesn't even know. Earth is like completely new to him, and yet he's like, all right, I'm gonna save everybody. I saw that. What was that? Touching a blonde girl. Alex is the only one who doesn't have an alter ego. She's just straight up badass Alex Danvers and everybody knows it. No mask, no cape. Oh, is it really a mirage? That'd be really fucked if it was. Oh, now she's like obviously wearing her ring because she's gonna take it off in this scene. Here it comes. Oh, she didn't do it. Very surprised. Because I had never seen her wear that ring before. Thought she was gonna take it off. But which side do you drink from? Well, it's a wrong well. This is the fountain that gives strength. All that remains of me is my love for you. 
Please, you, you have to believe me. I'm really glad she's back. Look at her. How many women her age who are actresses do you know that can act that well? Do we believe her? She seems legit. I think it's I think it's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, her legion ring. That wasn't her wedding ring. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Erase everything I just said. Who has created a plague to wipe out all AIs other than himself? In short, all AIs are in danger, and I can no longer stay there. So you can't return to the future. That's why he has to stay for season four. And it needs wind to take my place in the region and save the AIs. What? <laughs> what? How'd you get this? What, what is what is this? That's from the National Archives. You're right. And it's Wynn's design. The knife. Whoa. Whoa. It, it, didn't, it didn't work. It's the foundation of some of the future's most groundbreaking technology. Secret genius. Not so secret. Anymore. And this is an artifact treasured centuries from now. And you took it, and no one, no one came looking for it. The future needs you. Both of you. So they both going back to the future. No season four for either of them. Is Kobo gonna redeem himself and become a worthy character? Because. <gasps> I mean, or do I try and do this on my own? is it really out of the realm of possibility so, that you could? That's all. We do what it takes to get what we want. And when we defeat Brady, if we know that, you'll figure it out. Look at how beautiful her eyes are. Look at them just having a heart to heart right now. I just, I, unreal. They never, ooh, they never talk. Just the two of them. I love that. Look, sometimes the thing we thought we'd never do, the thing that goes against our very core is the one thing that we must do. Wow, okay. We have no other recourse. I agree. We do what we must. Rain to me is not even like a person. So is it really against her morality to like kill Rain when Rain like doesn't exist as a human? Or like a person outside of the people she inhabits? I don't know. This looks fake to me. This looks fake. Oh, she can sing too? Triple threat up in here. You feeling good? Feeling good? Okay, we trust her again. It's okay. I love Sam. Oh my gosh, she's. Oh! She's a super now. She's super now. I'm so glad they had their reconciliation. Yes, she is super. I heard it. They went after Rain, witches. Sorry, I got this. Yes, bitch! Oh my god. This is everything. This is everything. Sam is a super. Wow. I can't wait for Sam to show up and just like tear it apart. Come on, Sam. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Look at my queen. Look at her go. Fight, 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 fight. Oh, oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Oh, Laura. She's fine. 
Just a bunch of people just got shot with some lasers. <gasps> oh! What is happening? If Kryptonians get shot with lasers, like, they're good, right? This car has been shot a billion times. No, they're all fine. I learned nothing. It's okay. Hold on, the legends are gonna show up and be like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Not even Supergirl. Where's, where's Sarah Lance? Like, where is she? I mean, I guess this is actually pretty fucking cool. Wow. I guess it's that easy to go back in time in the same universe where time jumping is like only the thing that a time ship can do. Whatever. What does this do? I'm confused. Oh, that was the prison that could contain her. Pull him up, girl. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Did you see Kara's face? She was so proud. Wow. Excellent. Good work, spirits. That was real weird. She's good. She's okay now. And now she can come back for season four. Slayed the three-headed monster and saved Persephone. I think in the myth, Persephone eats pomegranate seeds and is confined to the realm of Hades forever. Yep. No, what a smart know, queen. I love a girl who knows some Greek mythology. That's all I have to say. This victory was yours. It was flawless. Except that it wasn't. <laughs> and you died. But that is neither here nor there. What's on your mind? This is everything we could have hoped for and more. I can't abandon the Legion. For the world that I swore to protect right when they came out. I guess we both got some saving to do. <laughs> so now what's the situation with him and Imra? Is he gonna try to mend fences or? In case you ever need me. Oh, wow. This is great. This is like, this is perfection. This is exactly what they always should have been. Teammates. Hey, you guys. Hey. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Ooh, oh, okay. Lena. Oh, Lena. Thank you, Hugs all around. All your blood tests came back and they are normal. There is no trace of any Kryptonian DNA. You are a hundred percent human. So you're not even a Kryptonian anymore? Oh, look at this. It upsets me. Because he's win, win, win of the future. Keeping it together just as best as he can. He's gonna go. John Mayer reference. Good job. <laughs> Look at that shot. That's a great shot. I'm on the risk of losing it. And I feel like I haven't even had the chance to really live it yet. Is she gonna I resign? I don't want to move soon, right? If, if I don't... So that's it. I, uh... Don't do it. No, you This is dumb. No. Absolutely not. It's in your blood. Tell I. Because I want to promote you. Oh, this took a turn. I have had the most priceless gift. Hold up. Is she going to be the director? I found my father. 
She went in there thinking she was going to quit. Cannot believe. You have to put yourself in the field all day. And you can't be a mother. All on your own terms. What the hell, you guys? Congratulations, director. Oh, my God. <laughs> Neither did I, but I'm glad it did. <laughs> Wow, that took a very sharp 180. And Wynn's leaving, wow. What is this finale? Unreal. He's a hero. I will miss you. My daughter. They can still visit though. They have interplanetary travel means. And I will bring Selena and the witches back with me. They will stand a just trial. I promise you. Good. You can still visit though, right? Because this is very sad otherwise. <gasps> Look at those side eyes. She definitely still has some. You have been a fine agent. And a spectacular friend. I miss you too, Papa Bear. <laughs> Space Dad. <laughs> Space Dad. Oh, am I actually getting a little emotional about this? Maybe. Oh, fuck my life, big sister. <laughs> They're so cute. I hate when Alex cries. It makes me upset. The first person I told I was a girl. You made my suit to save. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was not expecting this at all. The tears. <sighs> oh god, fucking group hug to end the episode. Just don't touch me. Just don't look at me. Oh my god, the ship is real, the ship is sailing. Wow. He's been outed. Any money? <laughs> Laying it out like it's no big thing. What is he gonna do now? What is, yeah, what's the, what's the plan? Wow, all of this has been a kick in the mouth. He did it. That takes courage. I love the couch talks to close the episode. This is my home. With you. On this couch. Yeah, right? This insanely huge pizza. Pizza. Always. You have no idea how happy I am that you came back. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? What's the cliffhanger? Yep. Mr. Smoker, we're ready to begin phase two of our trials. She's not evil. That doesn't prove anything. What? Who? I'm sorry, what? I don't understand! What is that? Someone explain it to me. Please. I don't get it. I'm sure it'll be explained. 
numerously on Twitter. I just, what? Oh, okay. I have to admit, I was extremely pleased with the way that they wrapped up everybody's storyline in the finale. I honestly could not have done it a better way. Bold statement, I realize. I think that we all had seen the press releases before the end of this season about how certain characters weren't going to be in season four as regulars um, when Jean, I believe, being two of them, um, Monel. Now we know why. Um, these characters have gone off and taken their leave from, taking their leave, I'm sure we'll see them again next season, but taking their leave as regulars from the show. And I'm so excited because not only does it wrap up their stories as, as they weren't really, I feel like they were struggling to figure out what to do with those characters. I wouldn't have been surprised if James was among those people who were leaving, but I didn't really feel like they had any way for him to exit. And now with him being out as Guardian, that finally gives him like a relevant and store, like a storyline that was all his own, as opposed to just being, you know, the guy that Kara was crushing on in season one. And then the guy that Lena is with now. And he, you know, had to take over Catco for Cat like last season. It all just kind of was all, it didn't really make sense for him. And I think now hopefully they'll finally figure out what to do with him now that he's like an out superhero. I loved the wrapping up of Kara and her mom. Um, I wish that, you know, they would have addressed the fact that maybe they'll be able to visit each other or see each other again. But I, I think that was awesome that we're not really dwelling on that part of her and she's accepted fully that Earth is her home. I loved the wrap up of mon -El and Kara. Like, if you had asked me when season three started if they if it was gonna end up like this, I probably would have laughed in your face. I'm so happy that not only, you know, they had their they had their relationship, which wasn't great because Monel was an idiot. And then he got transported to the future and he grew up, he became a better person. And in that I think the realization was that those two good people weren't good together and that they can be good as friends and teammates and co-workers and all the other things that they can be good as but maybe not good as partners and we saw that fully fleshed out in this episode and finally like we can put it to bed like hopefully <laughs> if we you know see it again next season i'm gonna be really upset but hopefully we can put the whole caramel to bed and that is it Car and Alex are always gonna be the heart of Supergirl. We know this and finishing this episode and this season with them, just talking about them being together is the best ending, the best ending that I could have hoped for. Um, Alex didn't reveal that she was gonna potentially have a kid and, and maybe that's why she didn't in this episode because maybe, you know, they'll get feedback that like, not we don't necessarily want her to adopt right away. I don't know, they can do whatever they want with the story, they're the writers. But I think that I've seen some valid stuff on Twitter about her maybe learning to love somebody and not be so heartbroken about Maggie because I think she still is um, and maybe that comes first, but maybe it doesn't and that's totally fine too. Like she can adopt. I think they're just leaving the window open. They're not like really solidifying themselves into doing this adoption storyline right now. The only thing that I would change about this finale is the ending with Lena. I, I don't know if that was an insinuation that she's kind of, we know that she's been going and butting heads with Supergirl this season and that she's kind of been going behind her back about the kryptonite and now the Harnell. And I don't necessarily think that that was a dig at her becoming evil, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Unfortunately, um, I think that Lena especially, this reminds me of Regina from Once Upon a Time, like super hardcore, is that they love a good redemption, like and it, they can drag that shit out forever. You know, Regina was consistently doing bad things and thinking that that made her evil. I feel like Lena is consistently struggling with that dichotomy as well and that they're gonna drag it, they could drag it on that, that shit forever and just be like, you know, they would hook us whenever Lena does something good and we're like, oh, like redeemable, redeemable. And then all of a sudden she's back to square one with something, you know, when she does something wrong, which is stupid because every person is black and white and we all do stuff that's good or not so good. And it doesn't really define us as a person. The last thing I have to say is what the heck was the end? I really have no idea. I am not clued into the Supergirl canon, um, the comics. I, I don't know 
I don't know what that was. I really don't know. All I know is that it seemed to imply that Kara was not actually in the Dark Valley and that she was somewhere else whenever she grabbed the heart out. I don't know. I really don't know. Everyone, thank you so much for sticking with me through season three of Supergirl. I had a blast. I hope you did too. I hope you enjoyed this reaction to the Supergirl season finale. Please keep an eye on my channel because I will have some stuff coming up before the Winona Earp premiere. Please follow me on Twitter, subscribe to this channel for all the good stuff. I will see you guys back here very soon.